All right, guys, thanks for clicking on my video. I hope you're all doing good out there. Today, we're going to be checking out the FX Air Guns Boss. Boss has been around for a long time, I think even before the impact. The good news, you can still buy these today in walnut, laminate, or synthetic. Just check out Utah Air Guns. The bad news is you can't get the one I'm about to show you. Why, wow, you guys, this gun right here is beyond sick. Because this is the FT version, which was discontinued about, I don't know, three, four years ago. So right after they discontinued them, I got a hold of this brand new. And I kept it in the box for like four years. I just got it out, made this little case for it. So we're going to shoot this today. First, I'm going to give you some hardcore stats. The regular FX Boss is going to come with a nine-shot magazine. This is actually a single shot because it's the FT version. So there's three stocks available. They all have adjustable recoil pads. You have the Thumbhole Synthetic, the Thumbhole Walnut with ambidextrous cheek piece, and Laminate Black Pepper also with ambidextrous cheek piece. So this is a dedicated 30 caliber, comes with 7.62 millimeter, 30 caliber only. The barrel is a FX Smooth Twist Match Grade 600 millimeter barrel. My barrel here is actually an, an older FX barrel, not sure exactly what it is has a pressure gauge, just one pressure gauge, it is regulated. The trigger is a fully adjustable match trigger, unlike the FX Impact M3. And it says in the stats that it's 870 feet per second, 101 joules or 75 foot pounds. It's a 500 cc capacity air bottle. That extra 20 cc's really makes the thing look big. The air cylinder is not removable. It says approximately 48 shots of full power. But as you'll see, this gun exceeded the stats that they listed here because we got more shots than that. 250 bar fill, which is 3,626 PSI. Manual safety, 11 millimeter dovetail scope mount. It's shrouded. As you can see, there's a nice big LDC built into the gun there. Overall length is 1,195 millimeters or this many inches. It's going to weigh 3.2 kilograms in synthetic. 3.4 kilograms in walnut and 3.4 kilograms in laminate and it has its own foster quick disconnect built into the gun so no fill probe required so here's the manufacturer's description same thing you'll find at utah air guns revolutionary is the only word that describes the fx boss and the development of this rifle with a custom made 30 caliber smooth twist barrel the boss has quickly proven itself in competition and in the field the FX Boss has been designed for heavy-duty, long-range field work with a power output of 75 plus foot-pounds and 48 shots per fill from the regulated action. The Boss comes with a magazine that holds 9 30 caliber pellets and can also be used as a single shot. With a tested accuracy of one half inch at 75 yards, the Boss is deadly on small game. The walnut thumb hole stock sports very nice grain and the synthetic option has a nice all-weather soft touch coating. The FX Boss is light in weight, easy to handle, and quiet in report. The two-stage adjustable match grade trigger gives precise control over the shot for the most accuracy. With the power and performance provided, the FX Boss lives up to its name. So yeah, what I can tell you about the FX Boss is that when you look up all the air gun competitions, EBR, RMAC, and you look at all the winners, there's always some FX bosses in there. Does definitely have some effort to the caulking right there, but it is a dirty 30, so this is a single shot, and I'll show you how it works in a little bit, but you want to decock an FX boss, you just pull that back. And you're all set. Looks like my trigger's already canted for me. My safety and fire. Looks like I could even take this gigantic rail right off if I wanted to. See the texture right there. Very cool. Here's the bottom right here. There's that rail I was talking about. And then I got my 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting under there. The FX Boss. Bottle just goes for days. Can't wait to shoot this guy. 
I got that awesome texture right there on my cheek piece as well. I got a hamster that came with this as well and not a pet hamster. Brushed aluminum right there. Smooth twist barrel. Giant, giant bottle and all that jazz. All right, you guys, we got a nice calm day. I'm set up there at 35 yards away. Today we got some 44 grain, 46 grain pellets right there. And we'll probably also bust out the 50 grains. All right, we definitely got a little breeze going on, but we're only at 35 yards. Just wanna see which pellet shoots the best out of this gun. All right, I'm gonna be starting off. Single shot loading, 44.75 grain. And I have no idea where this is gonna hit. Just took this off a sighted in Steyr LG 110. Whoa, not bad. Okay, seriously, this is not sighted in or nothing, wow. That was traveling at 876, which is a perfect speed, you guys. Like 880, 890 is the magic speed for pellets. Oh, I slipped on the trigger. Dang it. This has a nice trigger, though. Oh, that's awesome. 880. All right, let's get a new bullseye going here. Oh, I slipped on the trigger again. Still went through the hole. I'll do five through the same hole, and that will conclude... Holy crap, this is so reliable too, you guys. I, I keep thinking I screwed the shot up and it just doesn't happen. Holy crap, you guys. This is seriously probably one of the most accurate rifles I have ever shot. Okay, yeah, and yes, I can tell that from five shots at 35 yards. I'm not even going to test any other pellets because I'm sure the FX work exactly the same. How are you going to get better than 531 hole? I mean, come on. Look at this chicken head. Believe it or not, you guys, <laughs> that shot's in the bullseye, but that's a bad shot for, for uh, the boss. My dog still doesn't get the shooting thing. Watch out, mister! Come on! So he likes to run directly in front of my target while I shoot. Come on, man! Hudson! Come back, come back you naughty boy! Hudson! Come on! Good boy! Oh. Slipped on the trigger again, right through the bullseye. There's a nice little volley of targets. Those small ones are literally the size of a 30 caliber pellet and then the uh, the bigger ones are dime size all right you guys i'm putting in the 46 grain gosh that is so much power you guys we'll use this guy to sight in yeah maybe a little a little bit low all right let me sight down to these here All right, see where we hit. Might have gone too far, probably. This gun's not gonna actually shoot in the wrong place ever, so let me just go. We'll call that good. Yep. Wow, I love this gun, you guys. This is like the gun I've been searching for for the last three years. The performance that I've been searching for. It even looks cool. Look at that, you guys. That is the center of the bullseye. It's also the exact place it shot last time, so. Wow, and I've got a place to put my thumb. The grip fits in my hand. I can almost control the entire gun, the cant of the gun for sure, with my hand. Hudson! 
Come on. Look, you can actually see my dog's freaking dome in the picture. Hey, buddy, come on back. Watch this. Come on, mister. Come on. Hudson. Hudson. Hey, mister. Hudson. Hey. He does not listen, obviously. All right, can I hit a quarter-inch bullseye? Oh, yeah, I cheated over a teeny bit. Oh, that's freaking amazing. This thing's laser accurate. Oh, man, that is called bullseye annihilation, you guys, with a dirty 30. Okay, I'm going to do a five-shot group of FX on this uh, last bullseye here. Hudson, come on! Hudson! Hey! Okay, wind. Adjusted for the wind. Oh, check out the super. I got a bunch of wind, you guys. And apparently, truck's driving by as well. Still windy. Cheating over. Oh, cheated over too far. I gotta remember, I'm only at 35 yards. It probably doesn't even make a difference. I mean, you guys, getting them through the actual same hole is like no, no problem. Like, not even an issue. Nothing to get nervous about at all. Like, that thing is just swishing the hole, okay? It's not making a ragged hole. It actually is going through the same hole. So we're out of bullseyes, but I think you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and refill this. And just for the heck of it, we're going to shoot some of these nifty 50s at 35 just to see what they do. Here's a better look at that gun out here in the sunlight so you can actually see. Smooth twist, made in Sweden, 7.62 millimeter. I got a little rust on my barrel. I have five points of contact keeping me still when I shoot this gun. I got my hand, which I have full control over the gun due to this pistol grip. Then I got down here where it's touching. Then, I don't know who thought of this, but there's almost like a, a little notch right here. So I'm able to slide this backwards. Look at that. Okay. That's number three. Okay. Number four is my shoulder. And number five is my hand up here. Oh, I got those wrong. No, I got it right. So five is my hand right here, and actually six. Six is right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six things holding this gun still. And number seven is the harmony of everything because it just goes off and I don't know how to describe it, you guys. This is definitely the most accurate gun that I've shot so far. And you know what? I like both sides. These are teeny little screws in there, grub screws, I guess you call them. I already adjusted my shoulder thing to come out. Cheek piece was fine. And then look at this trigger. It's already canted. It came canted for me, which was super cool. And yeah, up here, I could even put on a bigger moderator, but I don't think that thing was very loud. Here's a look at that bottom rail. And that is like a recess 11 millimeter. A really good look at that. And uh, this is where my hamster goes. There's a hamster that came with this that matches all the furniture. So we got our safe and fire right there. I got my FX Bose outfitted today with a Hawkeye. There'll be a link in the description if you want the scope. It's about 449 bucks. Awesome scope though. All right, I just filled this baby back up, and I do need to shoot three or four of the FX just to show us how fast they were flying. You never know a different weight, but it could seal a little differently on the barrel, and even a lower weight sometimes shoots faster. So the FX 46 grain, as I said, two grains heavier, but shooting exactly the same, 880. How awesome. Wow, you guys, look at that. Exact same hole, not even a ragged hole. That's the same hole. You guys, I just did a full tank on this baby. No regulator creep. Duplicate numbers. Wow, you guys, this thing literally goes exactly where you're aiming. 
quarter inch bullseye or 30 caliber bullseye. Alright, now I just loaded up some 50.15 grain JSBs. <laughs> Hitting the same place at 35. Literally through the same hole, you guys. Not even a ragged hole. It's the same exact hole. <laughs> Man. Freaking awesome possum. All right, guys, I'm going to call that, and we're not even going to try the FX. We need to get this back to the lab. So, guys, in slight wind. Of course, this is a 30 caliber pellet next to that hole. Look at this, you guys. I can't even fit the pellet through the hole. How awesome is that? The trigger on mine was set at a pretty light weight. Very consistent, it goes off at exactly the same place every time. Here's a sound test. Only not a super loud, super loud gun, but it's also not backyard friendly. You guys, this is a target that was made by Crossman in 1930. Okay, so I happen to have about 10 of them. So it basically pops down, pops back up. Those guys are about well, that circle right there is uh, probably one and one eighth inches. But we're gonna hit these guys with a 30, and I'm not really worried about hurting them or anything like that. All right, you, guys, you can hear those wind chimes, it's getting breezy, but way over there, there it is. That's my target range, and it's a very special. 55 yards away, perfect. All right, I'm bumped up to 12 power, 55 yards, slinging the 50 grain, Let's see where I'm hitting. Okay, should be able to sight in for that real easy. One shot sight in, I hit the exact same spot. I was wondering why I was so blurry, I had to put my parallax on 50. Whoa. Whoa, definitely went down. Hit him. Uh oh. I guess I let this thing rush in the yard too long. Come on, pop up. <laughs> the heck? Oh, okay, that explains it. So we blew this guy out of the uh, out of the holder. He wasn't gonna be popping up. that pellet strike you guys it literally was the same exact spot <laughs> that's my dueling tree that I that I make those they're supposed to stand up to a 30 caliber and operate smoothly so oh I got a bonus well oh, look and the chicken stood back up for me thanks buddy Chicken's literally been shot twice and stood back up. Oh, I see. Now he's like, I'm going to stand here and you're not going to hit nothing. All right, buddy. So we got a little win. I'm going to cheat this way. Oh, my gosh. This chicken is freaking crazy. Oh, oh that did the trick. Holy crap. That was one tough bastard. <laughs> this 
guy's trying to play dead, but I'm still gonna hit him. Oh man, that thing gave that sucker a spin. I gotta paint that some special color and make it a, like a blur effect. Cause the, the one paddle's like pointing down now. He's behind the rat's head, so. Smackaroo. Wow. Extreme prejudice right there. So this is easy. That was rad. Seventy five yards and nailed it. Shooting the dirty thirty. It's forty six grain first. Not the best lighting right here, but I can assure you that the FX boss is looking good. Here's that single shot tray that's kind of built into the gun. And you see that little ridge right there? You basically slide your pellet skirt around that. Let me show you what I mean. Actually, if you look, there's a ridge on the top and bottom, and so the space in between your skirt right there needs to go right in the middle of it, and if it does, the pellet will slide right down in there. And it's ready for takeoff. It hit pretty low, but that's 75 yards away, so... Actually, we're going to sight in on these babies. Did I just hit the bullseye at 75 yards on a one-shot sight in? Oh my gosh, this is craziness, you guys. The JSB 44 grain. Wind's just starting to kick up. It's still pretty calm. Oh, slipped on the trigger. You know the story. Nervous on that one, still made it. I felt the wind kick up a little bit. So I pulled the trigger before I was ready, but it still went in. Oh, now we got some wind. All right, I'm gonna sit here for a second. 4 through 2 holes. So after messing around for a little bit and getting perfectly sighted in, I believe this is my third of group that I shot. Darn, that was me. It's dead calm right now. We're still gonna get our group, I think. And there it is, five shots. 75 yards, 44 grain JSBs. There you have it guys, out of the first four or five groups I shot, I was able to get two half inch groups.
So that tells me with a little bit of practice, maybe I could just shoot consistent half inch creeps at 75 yards. That's definitely something I'm going to shoot for and practice for. So I'm super excited about this gun. I'm super glad I bought it. So that's it for me, you guys. That's just a quick look at my FX Boss Field Target Edition. Like I say, you can grab one of these two if you want a dedicated 30. Available at Utah Air Guns in the USA. And if you're outside of the USA, you can order from Crail Sheetsport. So there will be links in the description. That's it for me on this one, you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks again for watching. Happy shooting. We'll catch you on the next one.